Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. <laughs> and Terrence. <laughs> Gonna have to see the video. Uh, what's going on? All right, uh, we're back. You didn't wear it. I didn't. I left it at the fucking house. Oh, I'm fucking pissed. I was like, oh, I should go back. No, I'm not doing that. He's gonna wear his. I was gonna do-rag. wear a do rag. I was gonna wear a do rag for this episode, but I, I I left it. That's a hell of an episode to do it for. Yeah. No, who should have wore a do rag? Fucking Tyler Perry with, the, with that fake ass. Fake. Hair <laughs> With the Why with the with the, with the with the the droppings from uh, a barber shop glued to his fucking head. <laughs> Yo, this movie stinks, man. <laughs> I guess we should probably introduce with that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> this is episode 114, the family that prays. Um, this is the 2008 uh, American American drama film, um, written, directed, and produced by Tyler Perry. Of course, it was. <clears throat> he did it all, uh, and, and he's also and he in, was it. in it. Also, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Incidentally, he was one of my favorite characters. He wasn't bad. No, he wasn't. Um, was. So, uh, I got a reason to hate everybody. Oh, oh yep. okay. We'll, we'll I see. mean, I, I would argue everybody has their issues. Actually, there's one character, one doesn't. character that doesn't. One laugh, one genuine laugh out of this film. We'll get to one. it. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I know where my genuine laugh came from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe two. <laughs> I, had a, I had an audible response. I, I don't know if it was a laugh, but it was getting <laughs> deep down in my gut belly laugh. I got out of that motherfucker. <laughs> so this movie, oh, uh, if you are looking to watch this movie, I'm sure you can find it on DVD, but it's also on Showtime. Um, that's where I found it. Um, so... This film sort of deals with um, two different families, the uh, the Cartwrights and the Evans family. The Cartwrights are a rich white family, and the Evans are a um, working class uh, black family. And the two um, matriarchs of the family are best friends. And so they've been best friends for a number of years, and there's sort of interactions between uh, their families, and they're interesting. Before we st- before we get into this, y'all motherfuckers told us this was good. Look, I'm not even gonna shit on on them right now. <laughs> right now, um, like if you uh, like if you think this movie is good, I encourage you to watch it again. And then if you still think it's good, well then fuck you, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. I have not seen all of Tyler Perry's movies because I care about my brain health, but this is one of his better movies. I think it's probably the best of the movies I've seen of his. I think that's a fair statement. All right, let's do our scores. We do what, scores what Tyler Perry movie have you seen that you think is better than this? I would be very interested. Which ones have we done? We did Temptation. I got more entertainment value. No, that's not what I said. That's not what I, <laughs> look, entertainment value? Oh, this is up there. Um, we did uh, Temptation we did Diary of a Mad Black Woman (laughs) right okay you hated that movie you hated that movie yeah Um, what else have we done I think those are the only ones yeah that's it I don't think I have enough sample size that's gonna be so they're all bad yeah they're all bad Equally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to save your score for last. Let's start with Terrence. Uh, your score out of five and your thoughts on this. Again, people asked us to do this movie because they, ah, oh, this is, this was, this is like a, one of his good movies. I don't know what scale we're, we're, we're rating these on. Is it the Tyler Perry scale of good movies? Because I, I think it's, I think it's so that what it is? Yeah, I think it's on a curve. This is not good. Like it's like every one. It's just like every other movie he does. I, like the the he does some weird shit with lighting that I can't fucking stand. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, he has like bloom unnecessary bloom lighting, like video games and shit. It's really bizarre. It's got like a yellow, like a like a weird yellowish tint. The acting isn't very good. Um, like the story. Yo, this movie ain't good. I'm a, but I was entertained. That's Again, 
Yo, this shit gets like a, a two. One and a half, two out of five. Like, because I finished it. It took me two, da- two days, but I finished it um, because I had to. <laughs> um, but what a but it isn't, it isn't, it's not good. And you people, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Like, this ain't good. It isn't. Oh, I agree. At um, all. So you're going one and a half. It's one, one and a half. One and a half. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to stay right there with you and say one and a half as well. It, like I said before, it is one of his better movies. I think it's the best movie that I've seen him do. Um, the writing, the writing is where this movie really falls apart. Like it is, there's literally a scene where, and I, I think it's clipped out. Um, he he has a character say a word that doesn't mean what she should have said. She uses the word disrespectful. Great w- metaphor. <laughs> Wait, what? That's not what metaphor means, <laughs> right? She says that's so disrespectful. But what she meant to say was. You're or you're so disrespectful. What she should have said is you're so naive. Um, and then she says something else. The other character says something else, and I'm like, that's where she should have said <laughs> you're disrespectful because that doesn't make any sense. Um, so the writing is really poor. It feels very rushed, uh, which a lot of times is all of his movies. Because he probably writes them in like a week. Yeah, like it, it doesn't there. There doesn't seem to be that much effort behind the writing. Um, I did appreciate that it was not a Medea movie. Um, the comedy relief, which is the um, Kathy Bates, uh, Alfre Woodard story to, to an extent, is not funny. It is not funny at it's all. It's not funny at all. Um, I didn't really enjoy it. The main, the main storyline I found entertaining, but woefully impossible. <laughs> um, I n- no, okay, uh, and we'll get into it. Um, and the two side characters of the main cast, I like the most. Taraji P. Henson's character and Tyler Perry's character. I like them the most. And yeah. I thought Taraji P. Henson's character was totally fine. Yeah, like, she, I had totally no fine. I had no problems with her performance at all. But outside of the two of them, no. No, it's a one and a half. Um, it's not a good movie. It, it really isn't. No. But it is on the Tyler Perry scale. I think, And I think that's how people are grading this. It's a it's a decent movie, or you could even say a good Tyler Perry movie, but on the scale of like actual movies, no, it's not good. It's a mess. I will concede that <laughs> this is probably his best movie that we've done. I mean, we haven't done for. I still movies. like Temptation, but God, that movie's so good. This it is. This I is. I think that's his best movie. <laughs> Yeah, cause I yeah, cause I kind of enjoy watching Temptation a little more than that. I, I mean, Temptation is over the top, but this is over the top. Yeah, it is. Like, it, were character alignment charts around in two thousand eight? <laughs> because that's what everybody fits into. Yes, I said to my wife, I was like, everyone is so flat. It's just like naive, villain, male villain, <laughs> right? They Old fit, lady. They literally fit. In one box. Archety- they're just yeah, archetypes. They, don't, they have no personality at all. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> they're and, all terrible. Yeah. I, okay, I, 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 was, <laughs> I was disgusted with this this movie, guys. It's not good. <laughs> no like, I, like I, I really <laughs> like I really need you all to go back and rewatch it because it's not it's not good. Like look at the performances and look at the different characters. Like like they're, look at it critically. Yeah, look at it critically. Because Alfred Woodard is the magicalist of magical Negroes. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Kathy Bates is... Too good to be in this movie? Is just a, a white woman living a white woman life with a yeah. rich with a rich ass and her, her poor downtrodden black friend that she keeps around to make herself feel down. Uh, what Sana sound like, sound like Andrea in the beginning? Sana Lathan. <gasps> yo, yo, I, I awful dude. Uh, I, I, uh, like she's just a bitch. But the for thing, no reason. For yeah. one, for no reason. But it really goes to show you how bad the writing is because Sana Lathan is a good actress. She's terrible in this because she's reading garbage. Just. Unmitigated garbage. <laughs> it is awful. The writing is terrible in this movie. Cole Hauser 
he's a bastard, but he's playing like he's Cole Hauser, right? Like he's always a bastard. Yeah. No he neo Nazi. He Cole didn't Hauser. age. No. No, he, he did. Looks pretty fucking good. Well, and he he. This like, is two thousand eight. Yeah, and and when was higher learning? Like two. Like, like, two? No, like that? that shit was like ninety six. Oh yeah, because it was before uh, we graduated. I just I, I was doing a search. I t- typed "hero learning." Don't think that's a name. <laughs> <laughs> like that shit came out like ten years after uh, nineteen ninety five. Yeah, and this came in what two thousand eight. Yeah, thirteen yeah. years later. Yeah, wow. he still looks the fucking same. He looks exactly. He's just bigger. Like he's yeah. like a bigger and he had hair. Katie Strickland uh, is everything that I hate about white women. I don't, um, I don't even know who the fuck that is. Is that, that the, is the wife? The wife? wife? Cole Hauser's okay. wife. She is just kind of going through life and weak. she's very weak, but nothing bad happens to her. Well, well mm. things, things, bad, thing, bad things happen to her, but. But they didn't. But they didn't. Like her life but, isn't. You know what? Upended. I, but you know what? I would argue. I would argue she had, she's one of the few characters that has an arc. Does she have an what arc? What the fuck was it? I think she does have an arc. Where'd we'll she go it. from? She went from very weak minded and very weak willed to being a stone cold bitch by the end. She did. But that was her that was her arc. It wasn't to be a good person. <clears throat> she ends up being much more like uh Charlotte Cartwright by the end. That conversation she has with her, her interaction with Sanaa Lathan at the end is not who she was in the beginning of that movie. She has an arc. It's Look, it's not a huge. It's not really yeah. like it's not a parabola. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but you they could, you could make half the McDonald's sign with it, right? <laughs> but it is a little bit of an arc. It is. But they stayed together. Yeah, but we'll talk about it. No, fuck that. She's no, she ain't no fucking arc. She no, just we'll talk about she it. she just got a little bit more like stern. Rockman, that's not a fucking arc. Rockman Dunbar, who plays world's uh, nicest guy, who plays Chris, is. This is Micah. Probably. Um, <laughs> he's just kind of dumb, right? Like he's completely naive, he's and, super naive. and and over emotional. And I, Tyler Perry's character. <laughs> yeah. So uh, look. Wait, wait, wait how? Over emotional? Yeah. Don't spoil it. We'll right get now. to it. Yeah, don't spoil it right now. We'll get to it. Okay. <laughs> Terrence is like, I wouldn't call that emotional. I, mean, <laughs> I wouldn't no, call I that over emotional. I, think... I would call that the right amount of emotion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know yeah, what? what the fuck? You know what? According to my wife, it was, quote, the only thing in this movie that made sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. I don't I was, yeah, She I don't... was way more liberal on that than I, I was like, dang, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, That's fucking funny. Tyler Perry's character had no drive, no ambition. He was just a fucking bump on a log. Oh, see, I didn't see him like that. I, really? Yeah. Well, no, I well, oh, him. well, I, you know, yeah, he's got a dream, but I'm, mm, that would be like me telling you not to start this business because your life is good enough as it is. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be friends with him. <laughs> but he had, he had a reason but he had for a reason it to begin it. with. I mean, and I, and I, actually, I, actually, I thought his reasoning, and, and I actually want to have an aside about that when we get there, I thought his reasoning for that was was kind of emblematic of being a, like a black moment. Like I actually thought it was a legit black moment. Look, I'm not offended by his character. I'm not offended by Taraji B. Henson's character. Everybody else can fuck off. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I think it's about right. They're the two characters I like. And this movie's boring too, man. It's boring. <laughs> it's boring. It's 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 got so much fucking. It's so much of a soapy soap opera that like it should be sponsored by Zest. Like it's <laughs> it's it's the worst parts of of all those soaps from the seventies and shit. Like oh, like his show, The Have and the Have Nots. Yo, like it's 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 bad. It's bad. It's, it's like good. two episodes of Dallas. It's like Black Dallas. <laughs> Blalas. Bl- Blalas. <laughs> yeah. Blah. Exactly. This is not good, man. It All is. All right. So what do you give it? A no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give it a score. You gave the last Oliver Perry movie trash out of five. <laughs> Um, that was Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Surely you have a little bit more <laughs> respect for this movie. Recycled garbage out of five. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, you're doing your civic duty. <laughs> this movie's bad. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> that part very obvious. Yeah, clearly. Uh, so, so the movie opens. Um, 
at the nice home of Charlotte Cartwright, played by Kathy Bates. Uh, it's like this long sweeping shot. And then um, you see she's prepping this is for a plantation, if you will. Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't appreciate that shit at all. First yeah, all. look, I don't, you know, my wife and I will be like looking at houses occasionally. She's like, oh, I like this house. I was like, that's got a slave porch. No. <laughs> nope. Nope. Nah. But just look at, look at, look at the design. That's a fucking slave house. Yeah, no, it is. I'm uh, not. Yeah. No, she's got. No. She's had way too many maids and shit running around. Nah, fuck that. I don't care. I don't care what color they are. Um, so what we see is her prepping for this wedding, right? And you don't know whose wedding it is. It turns out it is her best friend, um, whose name is Alice, played by uh, Alfred Woodard. It's her <laughs> daughter. It's Alfred Woodard's daughter's wedding. Um, her daughter Andrea, played by Sonal Lathan, uh, who is marrying Chris, played by Rockman Dunbar. So the problem with this opening scene for me was they they have they have this like, oh, we're getting ready for the wedding. And Alice goes to see Andrea and Andrea's wearing the wedding dress that Alice got married in. And that dress is hideous, by the way. It's, it's fucking ugly. Sorry. Andrea's right. Um, <clears throat> the problem with it for me was the fucking title cards. I can't stand that shit. I didn't I didn't really pay attention to them. What was wrong with them? Like I hate the lettering that he used in his movies. I hate the lighting. I hate the lettering. I hate the the. I hate. Are the, are they in cursive? Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Well, kinda. They're like bold and italicized and. Nah, yo, I don't like anything about this intro. I don't like this movie. Anyway, sorry. Terrence <laughs> <laughs> taking a hard stance on titling. Yeah, it um, sucks, man. He does it in all of his fucking movies. Like letters appear out of nowhere. Fuck off, Tyler Perry. Not clever. It's not um, cute. So, so at this point, um, Andrea is bitching to her sister saying how, uh, Charlotte Cartwright is only having this wedding for her, paying for this wedding for her because she wants to make her like black friend, her poor black friend, like, Oh, I'm helping out these, these poor Negroes. And that was kind of a thing that you were pointing out. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't think she was just doing it just to be a good person? No, people don't pay for other people's child's weddings to be a good person. You wouldn't host, or, or you wouldn't host like your friend's wedding at your house. No, if you had the money. No, well, yeah. that's how I keep money <laughs> by not throwing it away on parties that for, that don't relate to me. <laughs> if you had the money, like she's a no. fucking million. If I had no. a, if I had a kid. And I was down on my luck. You're not. No, you're not down on your luck, as we will find out later. <laughs> but that. Yeah. Was, this, this was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this was before that. No, but she's always had that. Had what? No, she didn't. No, she, she, no, she didn't. Pay attention, nigga. <laughs> nah, yo, nah, yo, nah, yo, <laughs> you're, nah, yo. You're I mean, you want to go? You want? You want to go? You want to skip to the end of this movie? No, no. I don't. <laughs> No, because you just want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> we can skip to the end of this movie, man. No. I'm just saying. I can I can tell you. Look, she's already she always had that money. No. I don't think that's true. I do yeah, think I it's think true. So I do think it's true. Anyway, no, I would not. <laughs> my no, wife and I. I my not. wife and I threw a um, threw a, a engagement party here at my house. Uh, for Did you pay for it? I mean, we had to like do the stuff for. The Did house. you pay for it? <laughs> I don't think they paid for anything. Did you pay? We paid money for things, yeah. Did you pay for the party? I mean, I don't think we paid for the food, no. Did you pay for the party? I mean, I guess if you're talking about the food, no. But we had to clean the house. We had to do all this shit. We had to hmm. house all these motherfuckers in here. And how much did it cost to, for you to clean your house? Time. <laughs> My time. precious time. Nah, yo. Nah, I ain't So I ain't you would not you would would if you throw you in and get would you do the same thing? An excess amount of money. Like she's a I fucking have, millionaire. Look, I don't mind throwing yeah. I don't mind throwing a party. The way that it is portrayed in here to me is that she is paying for the yeah, wedding. She's paying for, paying for the no. Wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and if that was the case, where were you a year ago? Oh what, me? Yeah. <laughs> you could have paid for mine. 
That was He's a throwing his money around. No, no, that was a destination <laughs> wedding. I don't, that's some that's some HGTV shit. <laughs> no, but we're not. You talking. better get married to Silver Spring. <laughs> <laughs> like she's a she's a multi. She runs a multi million dollar company. I get it. Even if you had that kind of money, you still no. I wouldn't. Damn. You paying for your own kids' wedding? If you had not. this kind of money, yeah, uh, ha, uh, no, because <laughs> we had to pay for ours. <laughs> Do what we did, save up a bunch of money, invite your greedy ass friends to go over the the, the alcohol budget, and then figure it out uh, af- uh, afterwards. I mean, that alcohol, alcohol was budget. fine. Yeah, I mean, it was fine. I only had like two beers. Uh, well, look, we had a lot of drinkers there. Mm. I don't think I drink enough at your wedding. I feel like apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it. Um, her friends are a bunch of lushes. <laughs> <laughs> Make it up for your punk ass. Um, so, so we meet Andrea, and again, she's complaining about the dress that she has to wear, which was which was her mom's, um, and complaining about Charlotte, who was paying for the wedding. Um, her sister is there, also named Pam, who is played by Taraja P Henson, who's like, yeah, you're you're being an asshole, like. You know, she's helping she's helping you out and you're being a dick. Yeah. She um, says that quite a few times in this fucking movie. And she's right about every she single one absolutely of them. Absolutely correct. Um I wrote uh in my notes, Andrea is a bitch on wheels. That's yeah. it. Just wanted to just put that out there. Like from the get go. She's awful. Like there's she does not have a single redeeming quality. She is a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that is what she is. Like this is the definition of what a cunt is. She is mad for no reason from the word go. There is no, and they try to throw some bullshit ass explanation as to why she's as angry as she is. What in the uh, the diner? Yeah, I was but, like, bitch, you just what? You're you, doing the you, same right, thing. Like, so you just yeah. you just followed in his scumbag footsteps. Right. Good job, bitch. Right now, <laughs> I don't. Not, right. So your attempt to try and make you a human being failed. No, you became worse. So. <laughs> So mad. I don't. I don't like this movie. We're not even a, not that far. We're, we're like five minutes in. We're, no, we're literally like three minutes into the movie. I, I think I'm on the fourth <laughs> note. I mean, um, so here's a here's an odd here's an odd um, film choice. Hard cut to post wedding. Didn't show the ceremony. Yeah, at all. Five that's, years that, later. Yo, that's exactly like. So did I, they get married? I thought, I thought, because I was watching it through Hulu, I thought it skipped. I was like, <laughs> I like, oh, they just cut out the bullshit. Okay, cool. Whatever. It's like watching wrestling on Hulu. They just cut out the They just cut out all the nonsense. Like five years man. later, I'm like, uh, uh, what? <laughs> okay. Well, no, even before the four-year jump, they just cut to her being like, she's just trying to throw this wedding to, to help black folks, to post-wedding, and it was... Oh, congratulations. I was like, where, what happened to the ceremony? They didn't even, even try to fake really that shit. That. They Almost just cut it completely. Out. And then they immediately, so they cut that. Like, and not then even. Cole like, Hauser's like, hey, congratulations. And gives, and gives, um, Sonia Lathan this fucking dirty look. Like, ah, oh, I would fuck the shit out of you. Uh, spoiler <laughs> alert for later. And then he offers her a job and offers Chris, uh, a job. And then it's like, boom, hard cut four years later. They got a kid. Like, I was like, God damn. They didn't even they never even showed the married couple happy for like one minute in this entire movie. Why did she marry him? This is a good question. The she's ashamed that he works construction and she's a financial person. I, I don't understand. You was he, he was not working construction when you married him? Yeah, I, I, just, I, don't, I just don't know. Get it. They didn't tell us. Yeah, no, he was working no construction. No, he was. Yeah, yeah so. because he, th- yeah, because he, because that's what he was talking with Cole Hauser about. That's what he wanted to talk to him about. And right. he was like, "Hey, I might take you up on that." <laughs> <laughs> do you hate who? Do you hate more? So now I like this character or Rockman Dunbar's character more. So now I like him. No, she's just awful. She's she, awful. She's irredeemable. She is. She's like evil Superman, but, um, but at the same time, Rockman Dunbar's character. Is so written so unbelievably naive. Yeah. It makes me fucking want to poke my eyes out with a pen. <laughs> it is insanity. Who is this naive? He's stupid. <laughs> like, I like I just want to just grab this dude, be like, nigga, wake up. <laughs> right. Like, yo, everything is happening around you. Everything. Everyone knows. Um, 
So hard cut to four years later. Um, Alice is Alice helps a homeless man. Uh, the most attractive Nick. homeless man ever. This All guy. Right. This guy's like, yes, I am homeless. It's like yeah, I just got a little dirt on my face. Right. I just lost my job from Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a Can I get a sandwich and a place to wash up? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, fuck off, yo. <laughs> so Alice helps this homeless man named Nick uh, at her diner, which I'd like to point out, just as a side note, the name of the diner. Oh, <laughs> did you notice this? I yes, know. I did. <laughs> How could you not? They flash it every fucking time you see it. It's What's called that? a wing and a prayer. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's right there. And it, 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 it's a logo of a, a prayer hands and a wing, like a bird wing. Cause, Jesus. what? Cause Jesus. That's right. Y'all love Jesus. Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> um, I, <sighs> so, so at the Wing and a Prayer Diner, they take Nick in the back, give him fresh clothes, and feed him. Right. Um, more on him later, I guess. Um, then. Chris and Ben. Ben is the character played by Tyler Perry, who is the husband of Pam, Taraji P. Henson's character. Uh, Chris laments to Ben um, that he wants to start his own construction business um, as Andrea makes all the money. And he's, you know, he's got some level of embarrassment about that. I I don't care. (laughs) Like, I... My wife and I make just about the same, like, give or take whatever amount... If she made more than me, cool. We got more money. I just don't give a fuck. I I don't know. It's not an emasculating thing for me. So I don't get it. My I, wife makes forty, fifty thousand dollars more than I do. <laughs> Damn, nigga, you ain't a real man. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. Does she does she keep your balls in a gold case with all the extra <laughs> money she has? It's not it's not a big deal because it's our money. Right. It's your money. Like, who cares? No, clearly not to her. Not, not, not to, not to, not to fucking Sanaa Lathan. Lathan's fucking That's thing. my money. It's not your money. Like, yeah. how much more does she make than him? Like, construction isn't terrible. She makes $65,000 a year. Right. And quite what? frankly, Was he construction, maybe 30? like, them motherfuckers get paid yeah, because don't nobody want to do that shit. Right. No. Especially now. Right. But this was night. This two thousand seven. I mean, it's t- but, but still, yeah. Uh, mm. All right, all right. Yo, I've seen <laughs> so how mad. much HVAC dues techs get paid. Oh now. yeah, yeah. I'm about to go on HVAC, nigga. Right. <laughs> like I, I, I work with one guy. Like I, yeah, you will. he, he, he probably makes like f- for us, my company alone, working for us because he has multiple contracts. This year. We've probably paid him before the year is out easily twenty, twenty five, thirty thousand dollars. It's yeah. it's September. Oh, yeah, okay. That's not yeah. And he's got other contracts. He's probably he's probably pulling like two hundred grand a year. But he's works for himself. Yeah. So he's gotta pay for like for like insurance, insurance and all that other shit. But he probably brings in six digits. Yeah, I HVAC. believe it. I believe it. Yeah. So fuck that. <laughs> you know right. What? Yeah, fuck you. Like that's ridiculous. Um, so then, um, and and the idea of Chris wanting to start his own construction company is a big theme of this movie, and him trying to be the provider in this family is a big part of that. Um, because they have they have one kid, so he's trying to step up as a man type of thing. Um, and he has a bit of a dreamer's complex too. Uh, then uh, we get a scene where. Um, Andrea goes to pick up her son, uh, from the diner because Pam is watching her and she forgets to like pay Pam $300 for the week or some shit like that. And Andrea has some fucking bullshit statement. Like you're his aunt. You should be doing it for free. And I'm Uh, like, that's not true. Uh, one, (laughs) no, two, you're loaded. Like, get out of here. Yeah. She was like, you should be doing it for free. It's like, uh, I'm his aunt, bitch. Not his mom. <laughs> That's yeah. what she said. It's like, I'm his aunt, not his mother. And um, you know what? $300? Yeah, hey, take it. I'm like, yeah, thank you, bitch. Give me my fucking money. Yeah, she was like, keep your money. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, oh, slowly roll. Slowly roll. I mean, I'm angry. I'm nice. not that angry. <laughs> I'm not 
take three hundred dollars out of my pocket, angry. Get out of here. I don't think I I will ever be that angry. Um, you got money. Uh, so they hate each other. Uh, Andrea and Pam, they absolutely hate each other. They're always at each other's throats. Andrea is like the hoity-toity, snooty person, and Pam she's, is like Andrea's a bitch. She is. She's a bitch to her family. She's a bitch to everybody. Um, and so they complain to their mother uh, about how, like, they don't get along. And she's like, yeah, Andrea's too snooty. She's right. Um, then William, um, played by Cole Hauser, comes – Comes home to his, what I wrote, to his homely wife and says he closed a $500 million deal. Um, however, when she hugs him, she acts a little strange, which. Did she? Oh. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a subtle thing, but they should have made it a little bit more obvious. Um, so he's a. <laughs> should have made something more obvious in this movie. Yeah, because what, <laughs> what's really happening, you know, spoiler alert for this fuckhead movie. Um. She smells another woman's uh, perfume on him, so she's just like. Oh, they did bring that up later on in the in right. The and just in whatever. case that in case that was too subtle for you, they bring it back later on and beat you over the head with it. Why are you so mad, dude? Yo, this movie's terrible, yo. It's not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> it really isn't. It's so angry. Um, like this does not does this does not deserve to have been in movie theaters. <laughs> that this seems. Is, wildly accurate <laughs> <laughs> it just like, doesn't it, it this is a direct to dvd i would have been okay with that mm, um yeah. so just keep in mind so william has landed this 500 million dollar deal um for his company which is run by his mother charlotte uh played by kathy bates um then we cut to a scene of um andrea comes home and treats chris terribly terribly uh when he asks her to set up a meeting with him and uh william and she's, again, she's such a villain. She's like, he doesn't talk to construction people. Yeah, I'm like, your ideas are stupid. Bitch! <laughs> He's your husband! Can what you? the fuck? Yo, I can't imagine my, oh shit, I can't imagine my <laughs> wife talking to me like that. <laughs> Yo, I, I mean, that shit was really offensive because she's just like, <laughs> Your ideas are silly. Like, what happened to stand by your man? What happened to supporting your your spouse? That's like, fucked up. Like, I this ain't like an Issa Lawrence thing where Lawrence is just kind of chilling on the couch eating Fruit Loops and shit while Issa's out there working. Like, this dude is out there working and trying to make something for himself. Right. Yeah, like, the implication is that he is just trying to do a... a Get rich quick scheme and like, like no, that's not how that works. Like like I have a business plan, bitch. <laughs> like not a pyramid scheme. As a person hey. like as a person who has written a business plan and runs a business, it ain't no get rich quick <laughs> anything. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it might be get rich slow, maybe <laughs> if you're lucky. Wow, I'm really tired. I need to go to bed. I've been working all day. <laughs> yeah. Get rich quick. Get out of my face. Um yeah, so she's like really shitty to him about his plans to start this construction. Company. They don't have a single positive interaction in this movie. That's what, that's what I'm entire, saying. There's not one. Yeah. Huh? Throughout the entire movie. None. No, not, not even one. on their fucking wedding day. Which might have been a nice thing to create <laughs> in the movie. If you're going to make it so shitty, like show them at their high, then show them as a as slide. It slowly deteriorates. But no, that shit just went from, okay, they're getting married to just like, this bitch ain't shit. Yeah, I, I, like, I, I felt like it, it didn't seem like it was any of his fault. The nigga's working. It's like, He's just not making enough for her. Like, well, why the fuck did you marry me? Like you said, why'd you, why, why, why'd you do it? Like, if they'd have showed the, the at least some semblance of happiness, right? Then you could, all right, well, you know, things fall apart, right? Things fall apart, man. But I, yeah, like she was a bitch in the beginning. She's a bitch now. She was a bitch at the end of the movie, and she's a Yo, I just don't understand it. It doesn't make sense. She actually does not have an arc at all. No. She gets a little bit of a comeuppance, but she she doesn't have an arc as much as she just has a you. Right? It's just going down, 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 and it's just back to the shitty place you were in the beginning. That's all. <laughs> That's it. It's just an equilibrium of, uh, of garbage behavior. Um, so then we find out that um, Ben, Tyler Perry's character... Talks to Pam um, 
about Chris going on and on about him and uh, him and Chris starting this construction business. And he's like, yeah, this, you know, he wants to take all these risks and start a business. Now, this is the part you had a problem with. Look, I understand. I understand um, being apprehensive. Sure. But if the guy has a business plan and seems like he's into it and, uh, you know, I would never turn down an opportunity before it even, like, I would never prevent myself from getting up out the blocks. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's a fair point. Look, we want to, we want to do this, you know, as to make a living. Right. But, and I'm like, all right, cool. But I'm still not, it's not like I'm quitting my job to do it. Yeah, what are you, a fucking moron? Right. <laughs> but I'm also not saying, mm, well, I don't know. You get paid a lot of money. I get paid a, a decent amount of money. <laughs> we, you know, we, we should just, we should just keep rotting this mundane life out. Yeah, until you know? we both blow our brains out. <laughs> right. And a murder suicide. <laughs> I, I don't I don't understand that man. Like the dude had no ambition whatsoever at all. Like won't even entertain it. See, I and now I read it a little different. So um all that being said was hilarious, by the way. <laughs> um but I read it as they were because he mentions that they were in debt. Yeah, before. he said he got out of the military and he was in a massive debt. Right. And so then they cleaned up their finances. And now he's apprehensive because he doesn't want to go back into that. Right. He, he doesn't want to go he wasn't because Look, that might happen. <laughs> like if he right. kind of throws yeah, money into this shit, and he doesn't have that kind of money to do it right now, he's like, I want to come on. I just want to be stable for oh. a little bit, a little hot <laughs> and second, then, and then I, I'll go along with his fucking his his plan. I didn't think he was never going to try, but like I at he was this point, never going. Nah, do it. not not right now. It well, the like, way he said it was like, nah, fuck that. But right. like, I feel like eventually he would have probably been like, okay, cool, we're I, stable I, enough I, now. I was How waiting. Much did she make? I was waiting for En Vogue to cut in, like, never going to do it, never going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn, nigga. How, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> how much does his wife make? She, she works at the diner? But I get bonuses, Terrence. <laughs> I get bonuses. <laughs> I get fucking $180,000 bonuses every six months. Like, what? Like, okay. wow, you're doing really good at the diner. Yeah. Nobody. She was like, the diner made $225 last week. Like, <laughs> yo, close the diner. What the fuck? That Why diner do you is keep a this shit open. That diner is a fucking, fucking sink. <laughs> like living off a wing and a prayer. That's it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is gonna make a wing. Oh, this is terrible. Um. So so from there. Um. Yeah. Look, I th I thought Ben Ben not wanting to be just have his head in the clouds. I, I mean, I I think that's a I think that's a reasonable response. Especially if you are a black person who has been in debt and you finally make it out of debt, which is a big problem for our community. And then, you know, being apprehensive about taking that risk. I get it. To but, going right back into debt. Like, no, nah, nigga, I just got out. Yeah. Just, I'll, I'll give you that. But I wouldn't necessarily discourage outright an your friend. Idea. Yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't do that. No, I, of right. course not. I'm like, go ahead and burn your own money. Up, <laughs> once right. you once you make it, once you're established, I will be. I will, more happy I will come on in. Come on in. <laughs> See, that's some scumbag shit. Hey. <laughs> this fucking guy. Yep. Pay for you would need pay for, <laughs> for, yep. pay for his home Hey, look, TMP Studios is rocking. We're making a profit. Oh, is it now? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm in now. So, um, what you need me to do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, how much you paying me? <laughs> Welcome aboard, I guess. Um, no, but I, like, so I understand. I understand his apprehension. Um, but Pam's response to that, I I also understand, which is, you want your partner to have some level. You don't want them to have delusions of grandeur, but you want them to have some aspect of their life that they think about doing something greater than themselves or accomplishing something. So I, I can understand her frustration, and it's funny because it's the only conflict between the two of them. Yeah. And she's just like, dream a little bit, nigga. And he's just like, all right. <laughs> and he does. It I'll, all works I'll, out. I'll dream about getting a better hairpiece. <laughs> yeah. Why does he force himself to wear those terrible wigs? That shit was so <laughs> fucking distracting. One, it's distracting because it's Tyler Perry in a Tyler Perry, Perry movie. And two, he's got this fucking, he's got this 
thing on his head. He's got this triple on his head. What and did it's you say? Just, <laughs> barbershop scraps? Yeah. They look like they look like somebody swept up the barbershop <laughs> floor and fucking just put that shit on top of his head. Like it looks like a big gust of wind could just and the shit would just fly off in every direction. Why did he think it necessary to wear that? Like, just right? We know you're Tyler Perry, dude. Close cut, dog. Yeah, he has a close cut all the time. It's fine. Yeah, like I don't want people to get fooled and distracted by me being in the movie, so I'll disguise myself. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not gonna dress as an old woman, so this time I'll just tape a couple of loose hairs to the top of my head, <laughs> like a lunatic. Uh, yeah, I was just like, that's. It's very Shamar Moore in the Diary of a Mad Black Woman, which is a terrible <laughs> wig. Oh, that dude is, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him. I don't, I don't get it. By the way, what did you think of his acting? I thought his acting was pretty good. Tyler Perry's acting is always fine. Yeah. Right, he's not terrible. I think if he had concentrated on just acting in his career instead of writing and directing, I think he'd probably have a pretty good career right now. He'd probably be a pretty decent character actor. He would be, yeah, he would be a decent character actor. And maybe even good. I I mean, I wouldn't, you know, that one action movie he did. <laughs> Alex Cross. <laughs> Didn't you see that? <laughs> Sorry, we sent you to the screen over there. You're so mad. That movie was fucking trash. <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> no, I'm not an idiot. No. <laughs> what do you mean? movie's fucking awful, dog. I can't. <sighs> it's got Your response one of those... when you came back from that, you were so pissed. <laughs> you were like, let me tell you about the end of this fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's got one of the worst fight sequences in the history of cinema. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. You cannot see a goddamn thing. How did big doughy ass Tyler Perry fight off uh, big Fox? swole Matthew Fox? He didn't. That's how he did it. <laughs> you couldn't see it. <laughs> like he was fighting on top of like a cathedral. Wasn't he shit. like? Wasn't he like an MMA guy or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yo, that. Yeah, well, fuck that movie, dog. Yeah, that shit was so fucking. T- <laughs> I'll well, stay tuned for next week's episode. Uh, One fifteen, <laughs> Alex Cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm not doing that movie again. No, I ain't no, watching no, that shit you. again. Like, um, I need to look up that fight sequence on YouTube or some shit. <laughs> Is that bad? Like, I'm pretty sure there is. There's like a YouTube video of it. Oh, I'm sure. All right, we'll have to check it out. Uh, next, next up, I put in my notes: choir practice. Yeah, what? What? Why? Jesus, Tyler this Perry. This little light of mine, whatever song they were singing, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then uh, we, in that scene, Charlotte gets emotional because she's watching these black people sing for her. Um, not really for her, but mm-hmm. sing to her, right? It's kind of felt that way. But um, she starts crying. She's like, this is the most beautiful thing I ever saw. And, I was, and all I could think is, what's wrong with you? Like, something is wrong with your character. Right. Yeah. You know why? Because she's 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 Hillary Clinton. Like just, I mean, she is. She's a rich white woman who hangs around a black person to try and seem like a normal human being. Oh, her pro her 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 fucking programming is fucked up. Her programming. <laughs> I'm just saying, yo, she's a rich old white woman who is evil. And, and, I don't know and, if Hillary Clinton's evil. I, I, maybe. I, don't know. I mean, look, maybe. Maybe. But I, I don't know, yo. Super predators. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at all these super predators singing these songs and was like, oh, well, you know, maybe not all super predators. Just, you know. <laughs> Hashtag not all super predators. <laughs> um, then we cut to Charlotte having a meeting at her house where she hires Abby to be her new C- COO of her company. Um, Abby played by one uh, Robin Givens. I, I hate her. <laughs> like as a person? Like her acting bothers me. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like I just want to. Like, <laughs> I haven't cared for her portrayal of a character since Boomerang. Yo, she. I think this might be the next movie after Boomerang for her because I don't know what the fuck happened to Robin for <laughs> twenty years. Like it just bothers me. Like her character, whatever. Her acting is fucking terrible. It's it. It's you know what it is. She affects. She has an affected vo- affected voice. 
Is it? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Like, oh, not me. Oh, oh, oh sh- shame on you, Andrew. Please. Oh, that voice, that voice bothers me. Bothers me. Oh, it bothers shit. so much. Oh, man. Remember that time we ran into, don't say the person's name, because you often you, have, oh, you have a tendency to say, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. Remember that person we ran into at that sushi restaurant a number of years ago from high school? That, that girl. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was yeah. like, oh, I was yeah, like, right. what are you talking, <laughs> bitch? I used to live down yeah. the street from you. You, you you're not from never, England. <laughs> you never spoke like that. Yeah, it was weird. Mm. Hello, everyone. Like you married Mike Tyson. Are you really trying to convince us that that's how you talk? <laughs> Come on. That's like when Whitney Houston tried to convince everybody that she wasn't hood as shit and then fucked, fucked and married Bobby Brown and had kids. No, bitch, you were ghetto. Get the fuck out of here. It's fine. I didn't, you know, that's not a judgment. It's just reality. Um, so Charlotte uh, hires Abby as her COO. William comes in, um, Cole housering it up, and he just he comes in. And he's like, um, we're gonna kill a bunch of niggas. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean that's that's the look that Cole Hauser has throughout he, uh, the entire uh, length of this movie. I mean, I don't appreciate these people, but I will sleep with them. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but the funny thing is uh, that was hilarious. But like, the funny thing is, he comes in and he is such a over the top prick to Abby. He, he's like, um, the Charlotte's like, oh, Abby's gonna take our company global, and he's like. Well, mother, um, he hits her with a Mike Pence. He's like, well, mother, I already did. I just closed the Hong Kong deal for $500 million, which sounds like something out of that movie. Um, what was that that terrible movie? Um, not the birds. Um, Birdemic, where he's like, I just closed a million dollars deal. Like a billion dollar deal. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Like, no, you didn't. That's for like a billion of- dollars. <laughs> That movie is fucking terrible. <laughs> yeah. I just closed the deal for a billion dollars. It's like looped clapping for 45 <laughs> seconds. A billion dollars. Oh, man. Um, But yeah, like, it was like, they was like, I just closed the deal for $500 million. That's like, wow, that's a lot of money. And it's very specific. Yeah. Um, And his mother's like, how the fuck did you do that? Yeah. And she immediately is like, not buying it. <laughs> and, um, and then Abby's like, well, you know, I, I shadowed that deal and, how did you get past the blah, 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 like stupid corporate speak nonsense? And because that's all it was. It was just like corporate terms. It was really weird. Like, oh, synergized and fucking. Tyler Perry was writing this like, nailing it. Shut up, nigga. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, maybe he does. Because <laughs> he went from homeless to a fucking millionaire. Like, I synergized so. the PowerPoint presentation <laughs> with the rest of the Microsoft Access. It was there, but uh. <laughs> okay, like what? <laughs> like, no, you didn't. Like, that's that's, what, that's, that's the writing, man. Like, it was <laughs> so writing. stupid. <laughs> just, just take a bunch of office shit and <laughs> put it together. Throw it together. <laughs> oh. oh my god! So, so he, she, she says that, and you know, she doesn't in, goes into her like corporate speak, and he goes, <laughs> "What are you doing here exactly?" <laughs> I was like, right, that's not been a dick. Like, no. yeah, dude, calm down. And she's like, yeah, she's the new COO. And so she leaves, uh, Abby leaves. And Cole Hauser says to Charlotte, uh, I thought I was up for that job. She's like, why would you think that? <laughs> and he's like, because I'm your son. I was like, oh. oh. All right. Take Is that what Cole. you think? Um, and so she was like, no, you're dumb. Fuck that. I'm not giving you the company. Fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> Then we see a scene where Chris and Ben go to try to get a loan for their budding business and they get rejected at the bank. And on the way out of the bank, yeah, that Cr- dude was an asshole too. It was like, what you're asking me is impossible. I'm like, <laughs> no, it's not. It's like, <laughs> like on, it really isn't impossible. You could just give me the money. I might be in debt. I might not pay back. But Ever. It's not impossible. Possible. What you're asking me to do is invest in two Negroes. That's impossible. <laughs> 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 what the fuck he said? I'm like, Jesus, dog. This is a minority business. I, I, I ah, fuck you, niggas. By the way, he's starting a construction business. If you work on government contracts as a minority business, you yeah, can do you really get, well you, you really get, fast. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 
Trust me, if I hey, look, if I could figure out podcasting to get that to work on a government contract, I would. <laughs> right. You're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> If you're a minority business owner, look into the government. Spoil. There's a little business note for Jay. From yeah, Jay. that's part of those reparations that we <laughs> yeah. that we be uh, that we're that we're clamoring for all the time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they're still there because you know Trump's like, mm, is this a nigga scholarship. Nope, <laughs> cut it out of here. Make sure no Mexicans get it either. Um, M E B. What is an M E B? A MEB? No, sir. It's a minority. Uh, M O B. Minority owned business. What? No. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what that shit is. He's like, you know, my daughter's a minority. She used to be ugly. Now she's pretty. She's in the minority now. <laughs> it's not a lot of. There's not a lot of. Not a lot of tens out there that I'd bang, especially my daughter. Stop saying that, sir. I my, my daughter has a lot of minorities in her. <laughs> she actually, you know, Ivanka actually is on record apparently asking a black person what a mulatto penis looks like. Yeah, she said that quote. She used the term mulatto. Yo, I hate that whole family. Just put them in an area and nuke it. <laughs> like the entire family. The one who looks like a troll under the stairs, Eric. Um, all of them. All of them. They all got to go. Yo. Like, no, they all look like trolls. Mulatto. Yeah, they're 50% goblins. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ivanka's not attractive at all. She's- no, she had her face cut off and had a, a moderately better looking face put on. Yeah, she's sorry. She has a porn star pretty face. It's not impressive. So Chris and Ben go to the bank. They talk to the guy and he's like, this is impossible for me to help you. You're black. (laughs) And um, that was offensive. And so on their way out, Chris goes to the teller to just get a couple of bucks out. And he goes up to the teller. He's like, I'd like to just take out $40. Take $40 out. And um, they're like, oh, what's your count? It's like, what's your count? It's only one account. Um... And he's like, no, there's actually two accounts. One of them is in, uh, you know, your wife's name. And he's like, no, I think Hop. they're both. He's like, yeah, that's my wife. Yeah, I think they're both in her name. Yeah, yeah. Or he's on, he's, like, he's on one, and yeah. she's on both. And so he says, oh, um, what's the balance? And he's like, two hundred eighty-six thousand dollars. <laughs> he was like, come again? I don't like what the fuck. First of all, first of all. <laughs> I, I am I am dying to hear your perspective if you found out that your wife had a secret two hundred and eighty six thousand dollars. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a conversation. But first of all, if you want if you really wanted to hide that money, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you. why would you put it in the same fucking same bank? same bank? Why? Right, bitch. There's nine hundred banks. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why isn't it in a, like the Cayman Islands? Or some shit? Quite literally, shit. there's a Bank of America everywhere. And you gotta go to the fucking M and T, your local M and T. Like, nah, yo. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Second of all, you wanted that money to be found. All right. Why, why are you stashing money? Like, like, and if you are gonna, st- like, I just, like, like, not even why are you stashing money? <laughs> why are you stashing it in the same account as as uh, the one that you share with your husband if you're trying to keep it away from him? Like fucking Floyd Mayweather and shit. Why do you have three hundred thousand dollars in a in a fucking checking account? That dude is so stupid. Like, you're not getting enough interest on that money. <laughs> I like to just take out $25,000 at a time. Well, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You put it up to your stupid head. <laughs> is that why you can't read? Read what's on the bills, nigga. Read it. Read one page of the Harry <laughs> Potter book. I dare you. Fucking moron. Oh, shit. But, I, yeah, I just, I don't understand. Like, this is, that's poor writing, right? Yeah. Oh, she kept it in the same bank. Like, if it's Bank of America, by the way, when you log into the web, it just shows you all the accounts. All the right. accounts. I'd be like, what's this one? Is this a mortgage? Why is this number so fucking high? <laughs> what the fuck? Don't lie to me. Nah, man. We have, we have several accounts. We have our joint account. We pay bills out of. And we each have uh, what we refer to as fund money accounts. That's it. There better not be another account. Yeah. Like, like, that is like money is accumulated. I mean, like we have like an IGN account or, or, or ING account or whatever it's called now. But like that's for like long-term savings. But like we don't have some like secret shit where she's she certainly does not have $250,000 in it. <laughs> like, yo, you better give up the ghost. Get the fuck out of here. That shit was so bizarre. 
How like, that's angry. an astronomical amount of money to just be like chilling in the account. Like if it was like, oh, she got like two thousand dollars, I'd be like, oh, that's, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I I wouldn't even bring it up. Yeah, but two hundred eighty six thousand dollars. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Three hundred thousand dollars in four years. Yo, what you doing, girl? And that's how often are you doing it? <laughs> and that's not even her salary. Right. Her salary Four is $65,000. Sixty Those are her before bonuses. taxes. <laughs> I get bonuses. Uh, <laughs> don't you, don't you believe bonuses. me in the weird way I'm saying bonuses? <laughs> Moving my face strange? Like I'm lying to you? No, I, I'd have freaked out. I'd have freaked out. Um, well, he confronts her. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, Abby realizes... That William's deal uh, will cost the company $25 million and put the company in a terrible position. Uh, she calls him out on that in a meeting and they have like a weird tit for tat that is very inappropriate for a business. I'm like, Tyler Perry never worked. Offensive, dude. Like, Tyler Perry never worked in an office. Like, you can't just call people out and be like, shut up, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like don't, don't speak when I'm speaking. Yeah. Just shut your mouth. I'm like, he didn't say that, but like, that's he not was, how you he was like, talk. don't interrupt don't me. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking to you. I'm like, oh, all right, nigga. <laughs> Can I talk now? Is it okay, Mr. Nazi man? <laughs> <laughs> also, what's your position? Bitch, I'm the COO. <laughs> You're fired. Get out of my face. Um, so then uh, Abby and Cole Hauser, uh have to convince Charlotte to sell 10% of her company in order to keep the company afloat. If she sells the 10%, then she will lose um, majority ownership in the company. So they convince her to do it, and she's like, fine. Here's my problem with this whole idea. They're like, if she sells 10%, she loses majority control. Why don't you just sell 9% and then raise the rest, and then you still have majority control? That logic doesn't make any sense. It's all or nothing. We have to sell 10% of your shares. Okay, I'll sell 8%, and then Cole Hauser, you sell 1% or 2%. We we'll just, just do that. No, fuck that. <laughs> Again, Tyler Perry has never worked in an office or thought about finances whatsoever. Um, so then we get a scene where Andrea comes home, and Chris is, um, Chris is uh, looking through her mail and trying to figure out where the fuck she got damn near $300,000 in uh, four years. So we have that scene, so we'll play that and come right back. What are you doing with this? You know, I was wondering myself, like, how are we affording all of this stuff? Where in the hell did all this money come from? You sure you want to know? Oh, please, this is not a game. Now, you tell me what the hell is going on. None of your damn business. You don't ask me questions about the money I'm making. I can be the nicest guy in the world. But if you keep pissing me off, then we are going to have a problem up in here. I get bonuses at work. I get bonuses at work. Bonuses? Yes. This is my money. This is my money, Chris. And I don't tell you everything because you're always talking about some get-rich-quick scheme. You always find something to invest in or buy or screw We're up. Just trying to make a better life for our family, that's all. Family. By blowing all my money. Chris, you will never be William Cartwright. He's smart. He can carry on a conversation with the business world without stuttering. He's charming. He went to Harvard. Get over it. You will never be him or in business for yourself. Now put my mail back in the envelope and put it back in the drawer where you found it. Okay, so there you have it. Um, no. I don't take kindly to disrespect. Ain't nobody gonna talk to me like that. No. No, fuck that she, shit. She said, put my mail back in the envelope and back in the drawer where you found it. I'm like, if you don't get the fuck out my face, bitch. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> like, I mean, honestly, honestly, it, it's one of those moments because it's such, it, it's such a, a, a dickish 
thing to say to somebody. But at the same time, it's such a small request. I'd be like, I'm putting shit back. <laughs> yeah, what, what happened now? You go ahead and put those letters back your goddamn self. And I didn't use a letter opener. So all this shit is a mess. What happened now? But the way she talks to him is on a level of disrespect I could not abide. I could not abide. I would, like, I'd be like, have you lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just can't imagine having a relationship where somebody talks, talks to me like that. Yo. That's, yo, mm-mm. I would, I've never been in a relationship like that. I would pull down my pants and smack her with my dick. <laughs> because if you're going to act like a bitch, then I'm going to treat you like a bitch. <laughs> wow. It's very extreme. Don't fucking talk to me like that. Your wife doesn't talk to you like that? No, she doesn't. And she make forty to fifty thousand dollars more than me. Put my mail back, nigga. <laughs> okay, okay. Fuck. You, you want me to fold it? Are you okay. It's all right. That shit. Can you imagine? No. I cannot. No, yo. no sorry. No, nah, man. This is this sorry. is this is not the flint. Look, I'm all for strong women and all that, but you ain't got to be a no. fucking asshole either. No, shit. My wife don't take no shit. Right. And, but, like, you're not talking to me like that. And right. I don't talk to her like and that. I don't, like, exactly. And I don't talk to you like that. Like, you better, you better put my shit back. I get bonuses. Stop looking at my stuff. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Oh, bonus shit. Like, no, man. Like, Chris is so naive. He's like, oh, bonuses. Okay. That's, that's cool. all right. <laughs> that seems good. I mean, you're, you're working hard. You're working hard. I mean, the whole house is paid for by the company. And, it's not strange. Uh, car? Huh? Okay. okay. There are dudes out there that, that like like that shit, though. Like, not being treated like a fucking, well, maybe some of them do, but are perfectly happy with hmm. with the wife just, quote unquote, taking care of them, being a kempt man. I think we talked about this before. Hmm. I'm not. What? <laughs> <laughs> not you. No, you, you no, have a job. Not, you're fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. I, I'm I just, mean, you're going to have to piece it together. Oh, I'm all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like there are some dudes who, there are some dudes. <laughs> uh, I'm not a good person. <laughs> no, I'm not. I know I'm it. not. I know I'm not. God damn it. You motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Just let go. All right. <laughs> there are some dudes like that who just are cool with that, and I I just don't see it. I like, can't. I uh, it's it's something that I don't know. I, what are your feelings on it? <laughs> like, look, I like, don't. Think- are you okay with your significant other just like you not having to work? So, uh, no, um, I'm not okay with that. Um, I, but I, you know. In fairness, I, I also think it's perspective, right? I, I think it's where you come from. I was raised by a single mom. My mom had to be, you know, a fucking, you know, fucking a superwoman, right? She had a job, take care of kids, cook, clean, do all this shit. So, like, I don't understand. Like, I don't have the perspective of of knowing women who stayed at home. And I, by the way, I don't, I don't really judge that. Um, I only judge it, like... If you just stay home and you ain't got no kids and you just don't do shit. <laughs> like, if, I'm sorry. Like, oh, Jay, that's not very progressive of you. you just fucking lazy. <laughs> but, like, if you got kids and you stay home with your kids, that's a different thing. That's a fucking very much a full-time job. Right. Right? Um, although, <laughs> to quote Bill Burr, um, how hard is it to be a stay-at-home mom, really? I mean, you just send the kid to bed in the middle of the day on some trumped-up charges. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging out in your pajamas all day watching TV. Uh, no, but I don't. I mean, I sort of believe that, but not really. Um, but no, I think being a parent is really difficult. So I, I don't count that as being a... Um, yeah, I'm talking insane. about... I'm but talking like just about, straight sitting on your ass eating bonbons? Like, I know a dude who is... Just kind of living with his living girlfriend who makes the money and he's just like, all right, well, you know, I'll find something to do. As like, they like, don't, they're not married. They don't have any kids. They, they just. So he just sits at home all day and like plays Xbox? Yeah. Not Xbox, but yeah. PlayStation? Yeah. Is he putting it down that good? Is he just like, every night she comes home, he's like, I will rub your feet and blow your back out until you pass out. And then nah. she's like, you know what? 
I mean, okay. I, I can't imagine, but maybe. Maybe. Does he cook dinner? You got to cook dinner, dude. I don't look. I know of him. I don't know him. I haven't. I haven't spoken to him in a long time. You have to. Do you, I know? Him? Yes. <laughs> You're gonna tell me that what is is he attractive? No. <laughs> <laughs> Neither one of them are. Damn. So they're just a sad. There's a sad case. She can't get nothing better, and he's too lazy to get anything. Better. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a good, that's a murder suicide waiting to happen. <laughs> She's gonna come home one day and be like, "No, nigga, you gotta go. Like this, this is a wrap." I don't under, but I don't understand. I just don't understand. What do you do all day? I don't know. What do you do? Don't know. I, I mean, she comes home and she's like, oh, I was working today and I did X, Y, and Z. And he's like, I got the high score on that board on Mario. <laughs> 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 I just got past a raid in Destiny. Okay. <laughs> did you do anything? Did you take the garbage out? Did you scrub a floor? Get the cobwebs out of the crown molded something? I'll see if I can find the person so that you know who I'm talking about. I the only reason I'm not I can't saying, imagine that. I the just, only I reason can't. I'm not saying their names is because I I really like these people. You know, normally if I say somebody's name, I don't give a fuck about. Uh, Linda, <laughs> yes, we know. I don't give a yeah, fuck clearly. about Linda Mason and her bigotry. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> is that the picture? You, is, yeah, yeah, that was the picture of the girl that he sent. I don't Fucking Miss Piggy, the guy at the top. He just kind of he just kind of sits at home. He used to uh, work with us. I recognize him. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's gross. So, yeah, not attractive. <laughs> no. <laughs> and no. not, and ain't blowing no backs out <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> All right. Like, if, like, if you told me, like, the dude's, like, shredded and he's, like, going to work and he's, like, a trophy kind of person, like, all right. I, I mean, some people are into that, but no. <laughs> that dude looks dirty. So I just I I don't know I maybe 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 I'm an asshole but I lose a little bit of I lose a lot of respect for you if you don't want to do anything. Do you lose more respect if it's a guy versus a woman? Yes, because I'm sexist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I'm all about honesty, man, and I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, man, like part of me believes in that men are supposed to be the provider shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you don't have to. It, it, there's more ways to provide than just monetarily you know like you got but you got to do something yeah that sounds like what a broke nigga would say (laughs) 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 um no but i i think that's i think that's right i I think that's accurate you know you there is more to a marriage or a relationship than just the financial side of it right um but i cannot imagine like my plan is to leave my job in a year um to really push for TMP Studios. But like I'm very apprehensive about that, not because I don't want to quit my job. <laughs> Trust and belief. Um, <laughs> right. I'd have done that years <laughs> ago. But because I won't be contributing nearly as much financially to the household as I do now. Right. Which is 50%. So. So, yeah. I mean, and that's not even me at home playing Xbox. That'd be me at home working all day. And still I'm like <laughs> I don't know because that feels really weird to just be like, yeah, I was working. It was great. But not making enough money to like buy this lollipop. It's pretty great. Like, no. <laughs> Playing with them building blocks, not bringing in the bacon. Yeah, that's about it. That shit's fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Deep low ass, mate. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um. Yelly shit. Abby realizes, uh, no, where was I? Um, I do not know. Yeah, I don't either. Um, Alice, Alice eventually agrees to go on a road trip with Charlotte. I forgot to mention that earlier. Charlotte shows up yeah. and she's just like, yeah, hey, we're going on a road travel. trip like, like Oprah and Gail. But, you know, I'm not black. Like, shut up, you fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, only two black people you know, Oprah and Gail. Um, and this is supposed to be the comedic side of it. Like, they what? go on this road was trip. It? It was supposed to be. And they go on this road trip and they head to New Orleans first, which made me sad that I haven't been to New Orleans in a while in such a great city. Um, but they they go and they're, you know, there's all these like about as ham-handed of moments to be like, Charlotte is clearly dying, right? Like <laughs> there is something wrong with Charlotte. And I was like, 
She got cancer. My wife goes, she has Alzheimer's. And my wife was right. <laughs> <laughs> she never saw the movie. We just were like, just going off. I, I, guess. I just didn't give a fuck. Oh, poor Charlotte. Like, the shit pissed me off. Like, what's the name was annoying as fuck during this trip? Oh. oh. Alfred Alfred Woodard Woodard or yeah. I mean, li- you, could, you could have literally said any name and I'd have said, okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was, I'm like, She's too fucking religious, man. She was a buzzkill, man. Right. She was. She was <laughs> like, fucking annoying as yeah, shit. Yeah, she's like, oh, yo, Kathy Bates is like, oh, I got a, I got a hurricane. You know, like yeah, a drink. I'm not drinking anything I've named after a natural disaster. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> All right. Fine. I, I, however, to Alfred Woodard's characters. Like, um, this kind of did happen right after fucking Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, you know what? Like, yeah, I'm gonna hold uh, off on that for a little bit. I'm good. Um, but what was fucked up is. She did, Kathy Bates' character did this thing that people who drink sometimes do to people who don't drink that drives me nuts. It's like, oh, you don't drink? And she's like, no, I don't. And she's like, we'll take two shots of tequila. How the fuck you go from zero to 60? <laughs> Yo, most people start out with like a glass of wine, perhaps a beer. She's like, nah, we going straight to shots of tequila. I'm like, slow down. <laughs> slow down. Um, which is how we're going to get Micah drunk the, for the very first time. I've been offered. Of course. Yeah, Jack's always like, yeah, we're going to get you drunk. I'm like, why would he do that? Yeah, why, why would I? No. No. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it seems weird. Um, why do you want to see me drunk? My, well, I can think of... Uh, uh, that would be hilarious, I mean, first of all. I can think of a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. It would make for some podcast of magic. Because <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you would be like uh, the man from 3B. Well, good for you. <laughs> Is that a Bentley GT? <laughs> oh, That's what Christ. I imagine you uh, Um So they go on this road trip, yada, yada, yada. Cut back. Chris comes to see Andrea at work. Um, he meets Abby and he meets William. This is the scene that drove me crazy that, but at the same time I loved with uh, Robin Givens' character, Abby. Because she's like, oh, <laughs> she does it. She does it. She does some dirtbag shit. She goes, Oh, Andrea. Oh, Andrea. I didn't know you had a husband. Uh, and that's like, for married people, yo, you get stabbed over shit like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, if I go to my wife's job and somebody says, I didn't know you were married, I'd be, I'd be like, I'd do the fucking Stewie thing to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what you mean they don't know you married? <laughs> you better put pictures of me up everywhere, God damn it. Get the fuck out of here. No, I like, when I talk to, when I talk to women... Who don't know I'm married? I do the I do the the slick shit of like, yeah, me and my wife did that. Yeah, I look, <laughs> or you just like fucking flash the ring. No, man, I don't need a situation where my wife meets any woman and being like, oh, I didn't know it. I didn't know, know you were you, married. Like, like <laughs> mm-hmm. nah, fuck that noise. So she embarrasses us like, oh, I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were married. And then um, she immediately mentions this gala that. The company is having for the opening of some building, and says, "Oh, uh, well, did uh, did Andrea tell you about Magala on Tuesday?" <laughs> and she and she's and Chris is like, "No, uh, you know, my impression of Chris. No, I ain't even know because <laughs> I'm so naive. I'm just I'm just floating through life and letting things happen to me. I, I'm I'm just, I'm just I'm just a regular old construction worker. I just don't know anything and um." And so then she's like, oh, shame on you, Andrea. I was like, yo, Andrea's a dirtbag, but she has every right to just punch Abby right in the face, <laughs> right in front of everybody. Like, bitch, don't talk about my husband right now. I'm trying to fuck this white man later. Right. So <laughs> does she have every right? Because she's a bitch. No, I know. But I like, you know, even bitches don't have to take uh, Conley to disrespect. And now, I mean, that was a level of disrespect I, mm. I wouldn't have put up with. Okay. But at the same time, should have told people you were married. Yeah. I mean, nobody knew she was married. Yeah, she was fucking right to kind of call her out to me personally. Oh, no, no, no. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm just saying that if Andrea punched her in the face, I'd be like, I'm also fine with this. <laughs> look, you call somebody out. Look, you got to suffer the consequences. Um, so then um, Chris Chris is talking to William and he's like, hey, uh, I, 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 I. I got a couple of ideas uh, I'd like to run by you. 
And um, and he was basically like, today, Junior, let's go. This this was the one part in this movie where I legitimately had a laugh. And um, what is his stuttering? No. So he comes in. He talks to the secretary, Robin. And he's like, have you seen oh. my wife? And, there's, and then all of a sudden, should the, you just said happened. And then uh, he's like, I, 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 I think I've got a, a, a idea that an idea that I want to <laughs> run by you. And, uh, <laughs> and Cole Hauser was like. <laughs> and, Jesus Christ. Go ahead. And Cole Hauser was like, all right, Robin, give us 15 minutes between meetings. And then the, and then the secretary Dials the phone and and all of a sudden you hear, um, what's that bitch's name? <laughs> Andrea. Andrea's phone. Andrea's like she picks it up and Robin says, "Your meeting's gonna be pushed back fifteen minutes." <laughs> yeah, I mean that was that was kind of a bam. Right. Fuck you. Right. But you guys are just gonna go. At this you. point, I was just like so like I needed something, like something to to get me to pay attention to this movie. And uh, that was it. That's fair. That's fair. Um, at the gala, Andrea is embarrassed of Chris. She literally tells him, don't talk to anybody. Um, again, the level of disrespect. I would have been like, don't talk to anybody? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to act like a straight up nigga in this gala. Right. Where the chicken wings at? No, I act like that. Look, I don't give a fuck. I work in construction. I don't know these people. Right. I don't give a fuck. I'd act like a fucking asshole. Don't disrespect me. I don't like that shit. Just like don't betray you, don't disrespect me. I don't like that shit. There you go. I can act like, dude, I am a, <laughs> the nicest guy in the world. <laughs> but if you, if you disrespect me, I, I, can, I can act like a straight nigga from Baltimore. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, I would, dude. I'd mm-hmm. be like, I, man, I will blow bubbles in the fucking punch bowl. <laughs> <laughs> like, you tell me some bullshit like that. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Don't do that shit. That shit is disrespectful. I don't appreciate it. Um, and like, I was starting, like, even though Chris wasn't getting mad, I was starting to get mad for him every time he showed up. I was like, if you don't stop disrespecting us, <laughs> <laughs> me and Chris are together in this. Um, we're trying to start this construction business, me and Ben. Like, bitch, don't let me see you at that Inhumans premiere. I will fucking just. <laughs> I'm trying to be a nice person. <laughs> <sighs> no, I'm a terrible person. That is true. I, I just try to keep it under wraps. I'm a much better person than I... You are. Uh, you, I, you have, are. You, I have you grown, Terrence. You have no idea. Yeah, you have grown. I used to be a... Well, I... No, you still are. I'm you a just, lunatic, but I, I I like to... You just temper it. I temper it. Because yeah. under the surface is, is madness. You know what I know is going on? <laughs> just your madness is going on under you. Again, this just proves my point that I've been saying for four fucking years. I'm not the crazy one. Uh, there's an old uh, idiom that says, um, birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay. <laughs> you just got to go ahead and ignore that one. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I never heard that before. There, I never heard that. doesn't make sense to me. I don't, I don't get it. I'm not a bird. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... <laughs> So at one point, um, Cole Hauser and Sonai Lathan dash off somewhere, and they're like just straight making out in the hallway. And he's like kissing on her neck and all this other shit. Yeah, like that's not very discreet. No. In a fucking hallway. I'm like, go into the office, close the door. Like, dude, figure something out. Dumbass people. Um, and Cole Hauser's wife actually sees them together in the hallway, but she doesn't say anything because she is a weak willed white woman. <laughs> That was some serious alliteration. Probably myself. Um, <laughs> so then uh, we have a scene where William tells Andrea he's going to fire Chris in that same scene. Um, and she says, yeah, she's fine with it. It gives her even more of a reason to divorce him. Why don't you just do it then? Well, I don't understand. Why are you staying married to him? Right. What it's obviously point? not like he's not, he's not the one that has the – financial gain so you there's no financial gain to being with him right to being with him so w- what are you with him for the kid maybe no i'm just i'm just saying. <laughs> more on that later hope you like the taste of a countertop uh, 
<laughs> okay. Oh, look. We'll get there. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about the rest of this movie. I can't we just get to that. <laughs> this... This that scene is up there with uh, that dude quitting. It, it, <laughs> in the man in three B, like it really is. It's, it's a solid it moment. This is my favorite moment, uh, obviously. Um, so then um, Alice talks to Charlotte, um, or takes Charlotte to get baptized on their trip in a what I wrote uh, quote filthy fucking river. Yes, I'm like that's fucking disgusting. No, I know. Yeah, you're not. It was dunking, brown. You're not dunking my head in mud water. Yeah, <laughs> she was like, "This Saint John." Well, that's who it was named after, baby. Come on now, <laughs> Saint John Baptist. Like, yeah, uh, can we do this inside a church? Yeah, like, don't they right. have that pool? And you could just like sprinkle water on me, like, like what, what they do you, with have babies. You, have you have you never been baptized? No, but they do that. With, Wait, they do that with babies. Have you like, never yeah. been baptized? Not that I know of. I don't. How is that possible? Uh-huh. Wait, you've never been baptized? You Not can't go to heaven. <laughs> I'd do it before I die. What kind of shit is that? I'll do it Even I I've die. been baptized. I, I they dunk it. you in the fucking like kiddie pool. I think I was baptized as a kid. I don't remember. Yeah, I mean, it burned my, I it burned my skin <laughs> when I went in. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. The devil. Like, what does, who baptized me with boiling water? Like, what? It's not boiling water. <laughs> it's ice cold. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> ah! I, I did see a thing on the internet where it was like this like gel cube that you can hold in your hands. And it makes the water black when it touches water. If you were like, they were going to go get baptized in a church and have it with them when they go in there, it just turns jet black. I was like, yo, that is something I would do. That sounds amazing. I 100% support that. Can you imagine a fucking priest or a preacher's face if that shit happened? They'd be like, oh, shit, this is real? <laughs> you just uh, you just like when they come out of the water, you're like. <laughs> Oh my god! I look. There's no way someone doesn't go. Oh shit! It's real. Son. It just fucking <laughs> bolts. Yeah, Creflo Dollar. This shit is real. It ain't just to make a dollar. Come on now. I'd be uh, mad as shit if if Alfred Woodard uh, forced me to get baptized in this muddy water. No, the water's dirty. Yeah, it's doing... fucking gross, man. I'm like, no, dude. What does so? What does baptizing do? It makes babies not end up in purgatory. I know that. What does it do for adults? Uh, I think it's part of you being born again, right? I don't know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's something, there's something about that. Like, and you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior from this point on, and from this point on, like you. Pledge to follow, you know, the word of God. And so, why haven't you been baptized? You follow the word of God. I might have been. I honestly don't know. They might have did it when I was a baby. You should probably check into that. No, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst Christian. Uh, you know, it'll get done. If it hasn't been done, it'll get done. It just go. Well, you know what? I'll be there on your deathbed to just pour some like the Sani over your face. Hey, you baptized, nigga! Congratulations. Father, the son. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Like that's that's it, guys. You can't baptize yourself with seltzer water. <laughs> this doesn't work. By the way, you need to see video of that shit. That shit was funny. What the uh, fuck? I wish it just burned your skin right there. Ah! <laughs> well, it was real. It was real all along. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, seltzer water. That's uh, that's not that's not anointing oil or whatever shenanigans people talk about in church. I don't know. No. Um, that's funny. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have. Uh, you're not gonna get me to get baptized. No, fuck that. That's not crazy. in that. Not in that water. No, not in any water. I think I got baptized when I was like twelve. Something like that, they make you wear the like the the, the angel robe kind of thing. <laughs> that feels weird. And then they dunk you in the thing, and then you're like, ah, everybody's like, oh, this little light of mine. <laughs> That's the only church song I got. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> it's this the only light of mine. I don't remember. I think I have. Were you a baby, or were you like? I was probably yeah, he's probably a baby. Yeah, I don't fucking remember. They 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 like, did look, they do? Black what? parents tend to do that shit early. Get it out yeah. the way. I yeah, I didn't. I didn't start going to church. I, 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 fuck you, nigga. <laughs> I don't think I. I didn't start going to church until I was like three. My grand, <laughs> my grandmother took me when I was like three or something. Yeah, I probably. If I got baptized, it was probably when before I was five years old. Mm. 
Did you do the christening thing? You ever been to a christening? Yeah. My, um, Where they make the little boys wear a bonnet? Seems weird to me. I don't remember all that, but yeah, I've been to yeah, a christening. They make, they make the, even the little boys wear a bonnet. I'm like, it seems a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really care because like none of it's real, but like, yeah, it seems a little gay. Man, to y'all, I thought we were going to get a letter for the others for the co- upcoming scene. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's so many letters <laughs> so many what was it what was the one we got recently fuck all you bitches <laughs> you <were> mad <laughs> what? i think it was on wait next hey i was like i mean all right that's fair um so uh we're almost to the uh we're almost to the scene um charlotte then later reveal oh i'm sorry abby confronts andrea about her affair with william she says are you having an affair with william she says no and then immediately andrea's like if i were to have an affair let me tell you what his penis looked like <laughs> Like, okay OG, calm <laughs> yeah, down. it's like why are you giving so many details about a, an affair that did not happen um and then they have their sort of fight versus like andrea who's fucking her way to the top and abby who actually worked her way up yeah um, and she's like, well, I did it on my own. <laughs> Why can't you do it? <laughs> um, so then Charlotte reveals that she has early onset Alzheimer's to Alice. Um, yeah. she's like, it's they saying the memory is full. I'm like, <laughs> that's not what that means. Um, it sounds what? like it's already done <laughs> <laughs> because you don't remember what onset Alzheimer's is. I felt sorry for her. I don't like to see. Uh, I don't like to hear that. Um, all I could think of is she's like, "Will you help me remember when I when I don't?" And I was and I literally said out loud to my wife, which I believe she hit me. I said, "Well, how would she know if you did? <laughs> she won't be. There. She won't remember." Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. Sure. I'm never come to see you again. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sign these papers. Sign your money over to me. Um, so then. Um, Chris and Ben are fired for trying to start their own business. They're, they're fired by, um, by the company. Um, Chris still thinks that it's a sign that he should start his own company. And Ben gets really pissed at him because he's like, no, man, this is not a sign. This shit is not a game. Uh, we're done. So then we get arguably the most interesting scene of the movie. Is it interesting? I found it very interesting and i cannot wait to talk about it so they're sitting at the they're sitting at the wing of the prayer diner waiting for jesus to come on down give him a loan or something i don't know and um hmm. and uh chris is like look man i got a plan i've been making moves which you know normal niggas say i've been making moves it just means like i got promoted working at walmart like that ain't making moves though. right um, People but, who say making moves also say rise and grind. <laughs> <laughs> if you or or like my neighbor who uh, wears pants that have dollar dollar bills all over it. If your clothes have to have dollars on them, that means you don't have any. <laughs> That's how that works. Um, so so then we get this scene. So here you go. We'll play that scene and we'll come right back. So even if you made moves, man, you ain't got no money. See, so it's either you're in or you're out. What, you, how, what kind of moves you make? You ain't got no Big Chris, moves. what the hell? Hey, baby. Uh, listen, uh, let me explain, okay? I, I, I took all the money out of the bank. I know that. I opened up a business account, and we're going to go into business for ourselves. You did what? Ben and I got fired today. I just think that's a sign that we should just go into business on our own. That is my money. Yeah, but we're in this together, though, right, baby? No, no, I'm in this. You go get my money back. It's a little bit too late. The majority of the deposits already went out this morning. You bastard! You just take my money without asking me? No, baby, this is going to work out for the best. Trust me on that, okay? You know what? I am getting so sick of you. I am so tired of supporting this whole family by myself. I thought a man was supposed to help a woman. Hmm? You are so weak. Both of you. Today ain't the day and I ain't the okay. one. You understand oh, me? All right. What you gonna do with your broke ass? Look, that's your broke ass trick. You go to hell. Look, man, this is my hey. wife you talking to. I don't mean nothing to her, Chris. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, Ben. What is that supposed to mean? She better get her, okay. she better, get her baby. Okay. She better go ahead. That's what I thought. Andrea, just drop it. You stole my money. 
Baby. You and this loser will never be William Cartwright. From one. Ain't nobody trying to be no damn William Cartwright, you understand me? But you can't see that because you're so busy on his lap every night, right? Oh, come on, man. What, what are you talking about? Chris, man, come on. Everybody know, man. They know they talking about you behind your back at the site. Everybody know. Baby, what is he talking about? Come over here for a second. I need to talk for a second. What is he talking okay, about? You fine, start talking to me fine. right now. All that money you stole from me was given to me by William. Why would he give you so much money? Oh, this... Because he's my man, Chris. Oh, you've been making me feel like the whole time that this is my fault. That I'm the one that's crazy. And you've been doing this the whole while. You know what? Keep that money. There's plenty more where that came from. Max, you know what? Here's for some more. You go buy yourself some boxes and get your stuff out of my house. Five years we've been married and you talk to me like that. Now we got a son. What are you going to tell him, huh? My son is a Cartwright. Okay, so I look best part of the movie. Like I said, my <laughs> wife, my wife and I were sitting there watching this, and she literally said, "That's the only thing in this movie that makes sense." <laughs> I don't condone hitting women. I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's acceptable. But in this case, I understand. I've never. I would have. I'd have flipped out, dude. I'd have flipped out. Flipped out. Because, like, the thing is about being a guy is we are a prideful people. Guys are. And it's one thing to get cheated on. It's another thing to get cheated on. And everybody else know. And you just find it out. Mm. That's, I think that was the thing. Dude was like, everybody on the construction site now? (laughs) Oh, hell no. And he flipped out. The funny thing is, I ain't even mad about it. Like, I'm not even mad about his response. I don't think it's cool. But at the same time, Tyler Perry was like, whoa, 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 let it happen. Let it happen. Let it happen. He was like, yeah. She and then he just like, he took out an Afro pick and like fluffed his hair up a little. He was like, let it happen. Um, Terrence, you're, uh, you're a terrible person. What do you think about this? Look, first of all, kudos to the fucking, uh, to the Foley people. Because that slap was the loudest slap I've ever heard in my entire life. Watch out. I burst out laughing. Fuck that. That shit was funny. I, I said, oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, like, it woke I, me up. <laughs> I was like, God like, damn. I, that was the funniest part of the movie. Like, that whole road trip shit wasn't funny. Oh, this was hilarious. But that backhand slap was hilarious. She he, Again, I've never hit a woman, and I really hope I don't ever, because that's... It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable, but uh, yeah, I got it in this this... this Hundred percent, I'm a hundred percent behind this one. She was a bitch, a bitch for four that was years. She's known him for four years. Talk about some bonuses. Not only that, but like but again, I, I did. He was I, so fucking naive. Like you, you had to know something was going on. You were an idiot. But okay, here, here's the the bigger part of this, where I thought it would have made more sense had they done it. She tells him that the kid isn't his after the slap. Because to me, all that other shit, I would have been on edge. If you told me that my son isn't my son, that, well, that's a wrap. Like, I don't, <laughs> my brain would just be like, and click, do what you need to do. <laughs> right. Yeah, that would have been another slap. It would have been like, uh, hands, please do what you need to do. Because I, I think I would black out. I would black out. I'd be like, you know how many diapers I bought? Like, fucking. And then I would just, I would wake up, probably in jail. In jail. <laughs> in jail. Right. And they'd be like, what happened? I'd be like, dude, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. That's uh, happened before. Not, I didn't wake up in jail, but I didn't remember what the fuck happened. <laughs> Terrence killed a man once. <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe. There's nothing to be- I don't know. Again, I don't remember. <laughs> I wasn't there. But uh, yeah, nah, nah, man. Like, she deserved that. It was a backhand slap. She'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It was a backhand. Yeah, it wasn't like a top spin. Like, yeah, right, he didn't say. punch her. Okay, Micah, you were eerily quiet. Uh, what do you think? Um. Yeah, I don't. 
condone uh, hitting women. At the same time, um, if that were me and I found out that that wasn't my son, my heart would be broken and I would turn into evil Ryu and Shin Shoryuken her ass <laughs> through the fucking roof. <laughs> nah, yo. Nah, yo. Like, that is, like, like don't betray me, right? And then that kid is the, that innocent kid is the product of that betrayal. Like, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I would black the fuck <laughs> out. Yeah, like, I gotta tell you, man. I get it. Plus, she was like, a like, like, and this is the thing, right? Like, it it may sound like we're being like assholes, but this character has shown zero redeeming qualities. The the uh, Andrea has shown zero redeeming qualities throughout this entire movie, so there is nothing that we can latch onto her as having some sense of you know humanity. Right. It wasn't like. And that's poor. she. She fell in love with Cole Hauser through you know, and it was like, wow, she actually really cares for this guy. Right. And it she was feels just conflicted. She doesn't feel conflicted about shitting on Chris at all. Right. At all. Right. Like it was just two evil people getting together because they can do evil shit. Yeah, they were just evil fucking each other every Wednesday in a specific hotel room. Which we <laughs> right. And what do you do with evil? You punch it in the face. Or backhanded over a counter. Or backhanded over... And look, like... I'm sorry. Backhands are funny. (laughs) (laughs) They just are. Like, backhands are funny because... Especially because, like, these over-exaggerated backhands that you see in movies. Because it's like... Bam! Like, they're all charged up and shit. Uh, it was like, like a, you it talk- was like a gu- guy yeah, on Sonic Boom. <laughs> exactly. Like he, you, and you could see it in the scene. Like, you could see it. Like, him charging that shit up for two seconds before he turned the fuck around and backhanded her. And then, one, backhands are funny. Two, backhands are even funnier when the victim flies off their feet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, if it was her giving a backhand to him, that shit would be just as funny. It would be. But, yo... Maybe even maybe even more so. Maybe even more so. Right. But, uh, mm, look, I don't condone hitting women, yo. But at the same time, she I don't know what it. I don't know what the fuck I would have done. I mean, that's what my, my I was like super surprised. I was like, yeah, no, she did. <laughs> she deserved it. Like, she absolutely fuck? deserved that shit. She fucking did. She she was a she's a horrible person. Yep, like a horrible. There is nothing, and this is the problem with writing characters so flatly. Is you give them like you give she no has no with, kernel of like no there. sympathy no empathy at all for her like nah she's a bitch right and like if, if you found out if you found out that Pam's character played by Taraji P Henson had cheated on Ben with Cole Hauser randomly you'd be like and then Ben like backs I'd be like ah, I, that mm, doesn't that doesn't seem right like that seems fucked up because like you like Taraji P Henson and yeah. she had moments where. You, you know, she was like a reasonable person. Actually, most of her moments. So it it wouldn't work as well. But to try to, it, it's a it's kind of a weird thing, and it's something that happens in Tyler Perry movies a lot. Is he clearly has a desire to make women victims in their film in his films, and he weirdly tries to do it here. But you've already painted her into such a hard corner. That nobody gives a fuck that she got smacked over a counter. I don't. I don't think she tried to make him her a victim in this. I think this is the only movie where he did. He tried. He didn't try to make a woman a victim. She was just a straight bitch. Like she, she, he, was, she was written as a bitch, and she got slapped as a bitch. <laughs> like at the end of the movie, she's still a bitch. Like right. she, she's just an asshole throughout the whole movie. So when that part comes up, he probably was like, "Yeah, she does." Everybody in the theater probably fucking. Cla- if this was a black theater, I'm pretty sure even the women clapped. Again, because she fucking deserved it. I mean, again, my wife way harder on this topic exactly. than, than I was. She was just like, yeah, he, she deserved it. She's a woman. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure all of the women were like, you right. Yeah. I don't condone it, but I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Put your she hand was... on a fucking swivel. <laughs> Yo. Knock that shit right the fuck off that swivel. <laughs> <laughs> she slapped the shit out of her ass. <laughs> like, like, she absolutely deserved it. She, no sympathy from anyone watching this movie. There's no way they could have been. Also, um, 
I, I'm gonna give a uh, I'm gonna give a kudos to Tyler Perry for direction here. W- having her have one hand back on the counter as she's like coming up is fucking funny, dude. Like that shit is out of a cartoon. It was great. It was great. I was like, you know what? That's good. That's good writing. That's good writing. It's the one time. Um, good direction. Oh, boy. So she gets the shit smacked out of her. Like, and that's the and the other thing is like everybody in the in the in the uh, the diner were like, eh. Uh, I'll, I'll have a hammy. You're yeah, right. Yeah, okay. right. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> like, like, I'll have like everybody what just kind of look. Everybody kind of looked like. I mean, right. she in here all the time. She act like straight bitch. So, like, I can't believe he would do that. Well, it, it, as you see on this character alignment chart, she is chaotic <laughs> evil. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing is, so Ben's response is funny because he's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, just let it happen." Right. The very next scene, fucking lawful evil, or, right, or neutral evil, neutral evil, <laughs> and um, or more like lawful good. You're just like, yeah, it's, I think this worked. Um. But in the next scene, Tarasha P. Henson is in the back. They're, like, helping her ice her face, um, <laughs> which is humorous. But she's there, and Andrew's like, I'm going to sue him, and I can't believe he hit me, and, you know, he ain't shitting all this other stuff. Tarasha P. Henson's response is, I've never seen Chris so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I burst out laughing. That show was funny. She just completely ignored what she said, like, yeah, I mean, he's still my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn. Nobody had any sympathy for her, dude. That shit was funny. Um, yo, when your mama ain't got sympathy for you, yo. <laughs> no. Her mom was like, when when did y'all start fucking? <laughs> like, but mama, I just got, I just did a fucking tumble over. A, over <laughs> I just got backhanded over the counter. <laughs> <laughs> I got the sweet Dude, taste of Formica because <laughs> I was going over the top. Like, so when did you guys start banging? That's all I did. <laughs> she hit that fucking super villain one hand get up like yeah yeah right like, yeah. that fucking super shredder. <laughs> yeah, that's, what I'm that's like a cartoon. That's just funny. Oh my god, that's the best moment in the movie. That is that is solid direction. That is solid. Oh direction. man, that's too good. Um, oh my god. Uh, so after that scene, uh, we get we get a scene of William's wife. Um. Tells Charlotte about his affair with Andrea, and Charlotte's like, "Yeah, <laughs> like that's par for the course." Cartwright men uh, often wander. She was like, "Look, his father did the same thing, and his father literally fucked other women in the same hotel room <laughs> that he fucked Andrea in." Um, why he knows that is weird to me. Like, sit down, son. Let me tell you how I used to bang all these chicks in room 602 in this hotel. <laughs> what kind of dad are you? Yeah, all right, bro. What are you, uh... Like, what are you, my father? Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so she's like, look, you're a woman scorn, and uh, you don't have a pre Right. I was like, Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, right. look. I mean, in all honesty, this was Kathy Bates at her best. She was just like, <laughs> get that money. She was like, go get it, yo. Better get that cock duty money. <laughs> <laughs> it's called hobbling. Um, <laughs> God, it's one of the, I love that movie. It's so fucked. It's a great movie. Um, but yeah, she's like, look, go home, have a stiff drink, pull yourself together and make, make your demands. He'll listen. And you know what? She clearly does. And yeah. that's where I'm talking about the arc, right? Mm. Is when she meets Andrea, look at how she's dressed there versus how she's dressed in the entire movie. She comes in that meeting to meet Andrea at that hotel room. She's got a fucking sleeveless, like body fitting dress. She's like way more confident. All the other times she looks like a homely, yeah. just like a homely she woman. Got she's some, she's she had some confidence after the arms. Yeah, she's I, actually like. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she looked mad homely, but uh, she's pretty good in that dress. I was like, <laughs> I'll see you. Apparently, all you need to do is get cheated on and get your fucking Pilates on or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, she looked great. So that that's the little bit of an arc. The 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 hump of an N. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. She, she, had a, she had a speed bump. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. Um, so then we get a scene of Andrea uh, talking to Pam and her mother about how, her plans uh, with William now that um, – Chris has decided to uh, give her the taste of the backhand. That shit was so funny to me. So <laughs> here's that scene. 
When did you and William start sleeping again? Mama, this is not up for discussion. I'm divorcing Chris. And me and William are going to be married. Oh, you are, huh? Mm -hmm. Just like that, huh? Just like that. This is not the 60s. That's how it's done now. Andrea, you are so disrespectful. Do you really think that man is going to leave his wife and his child for you? Shut up! Shut up! Yes! He will. Why is that so hard for you to believe? He won't marry you. No, he won't, baby. I'm sure someone told the very same thing to the woman who took daddy from you. You damn near pushed him in her arms. Hey. You have no idea what happened between me and your father. You have no idea. I know that he left us here. He left us and he never came back. Because of you. He left us here struggling and broke. While he went off and remarried and lived well. Yes, he did. He certainly did, but that was 30 years ago. And I let it go. Andrea, you have to let it go now. You cannot build your life on hurts from the past. William is from a different world than you, honey. And he will not marry you. He will. He loves me. Where did I go wrong with you? You can't make yourself happy bringing misery to other people. I can see where this is going. Don't do it. Andrea. Don't do it. I raised you all to love God and respect other people. What you're up to now is only going to lead to disaster for you. Hmm. Well, then I'm going to enjoy the ride on the way. Okay, so there you have it. Um, her trying to call her mother out about uh, what happened with her father, but then she turns around and repeats the same exact Right. Instance. What the fuck? Yeah. That like, doesn't make any sense. Right. It doesn't. It's like, hey, daddy cheated on you with a woman. So now I want to be that woman because they lived well. Was that her logic? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that that's ultimately what happened. But I think her <laughs> argument was, you know, sticking around and just not getting what you want will just... Yeah, you know, you'll end up poor, but it's like, but you're in the situation. You're, you're the dad. You're your dad in this situation. Right. Who is a scumbag nigga who decided to go and hook up with someone else who had more money. Right. And leave his family behind. Alfred Wood had probably backhanded his ass and he flipped <laughs> over a goddamn countertop. Yo, that shit would have been funny. Like, see that spot right there? That's where his foot hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this the the motivate like this is what I was talking about earlier. The 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 character's motivation, I like I don't I don't understand why she's acting the way she's acting. I, and this is supposed to be the explanation for that, <laughs> but it doesn't make sense. No, it, it makes no sense whatsoever. Um next up, uh William's wife goes to the hotel and embarrasses Andrea. This is where she walks in with the toned arms and the tight dress and she's like, Look, yeah, you just in this room, you ain't never gonna be shit. I run this. I run this house. He ain't leaving me. He's staying with me. We're gonna be miserable and angry white couple together. But he ain't gonna be with you. You think you think his partners want to deal with him with you on his arm? Right. And, and I, I kind of felt like I was like, is that a black? Is that a black thing? Like I felt like maybe she was kind of trying to say that, um, which I didn't appreciate because Sonia Lathan is clearly a better looking woman than her. Yeah. Even with a shaved head, she still looks better. Um, <laughs> So I don't I don't appreciate that implication, but she just yes. straight up was like, "This ain't scandal, bitch. Like this is the real world." Yeah, you go watch defamation if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Put your white coat on, eat your popcorn. Um, 
Yeah, but she basically was like, look, no, this is not happening. You're not marrying him. I already got him. So, and she did. She put it down. Um, then in the, um, there was a boardroom meeting um, where, this is like a big pivotal scene where Cole Hauser comes in. He's like, nobody can hold a board meeting without my you know, my permission. And they're like, well, actually they can. And Charlotte is there and they're like, Oh, well, you don't have a vote to get not on to not get fired because you know, you don't have enough stake in the company now because you sold your 10%. And she's like, aha, but there was another company that own that's on the board that, um, that owns all this, you know, the stake. And, um, then they show up and it's Alfred Woodard and, uh, and her uh, daughter, Pam. So they've owned this stake from the beginning, right? Yeah. They said they haven't voted on anything in 15 years. Right. So mm-hmm. Alfred Wood has always had money, which is which is my which was my point at the beginning of the movie. No, I don't think that's true because they make a point of saying that Nick, the homeless guy, sp- spoiler alert, has been helping her with her finances with that. I think that she was I think she had stock in it, but I don't think that company was always huge either. So I think it was about investing. Either way, this shit is too convenient. Oh, it's super convenient. It's a like fucking it Tyler is, Perry. It is incredibly contrived and to the point that it is insulting. Like, oh, it's so... It's very serendipitous. So this homeless person actually was a former board member of your... Like, it's Atlanta. It's not like... Home fuck Georgia, like there's a billion people. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, all right. And this 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 one guy just happened to come into this diner all the time, and he just happened to be on this Cartwright board, who happened to get fired. Who had like all right, all right. This is this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. This is stupid. This is dumb. I don't understand why this nigga is famous. <laughs> Do you think we could make a better movie? I think we can. Like, and normally we just say that shit just to be dicks. No, I legitimately think I that we can be. write a better movie. I think we could. Hmm? Yeah. Maybe we'll do that one day. Don't be surprised, folks. You never know. You never know what's happening. You never know. Oh yeah, shit, son. J. Micah and Terrence present <laughs> J. Micah and Terrence <laughs> production. <laughs> production directed, starring. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's a movie about three people who are on a podcast <laughs> sitting and talking for an hour about movies. Weird. What an idea. Um, like it's really distracting that Jay has all those loose hair clippings <laughs> on his head. It's a random wink. Oh, you don't no. know my life. Get the fuck out of here. Um, that would be terrible. It would be a terrible movie. Um, so during that board meeting, they come in, they're like, ah, uh, no, we tricked you, motherfucker. Uh, we're trying to help our girl out. And so Charlotte remains uh, CEO. She doesn't get fired by the board. Um, and then and she they forgot fire. all about it. Hmm? And then she forgot all about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's just a, that was just a, I mean, a thing. I mean, can we talk about that, though? She becomes a CEO. She has onset Alzheimer's. Right. So you, you, <laughs> you took the company away from arguably a dirtbag who doesn't have a mental disorder to yeah, give it to a person you, with a mental <laughs> disorder. So you gave it to... She, and then she dies. And then she fucking ups and dies. Like, what the fuck? When did that happen? She's like, oh, when what's her name died? It was such a terrible thing. I'm like... She had onset Alzheimer's. She that's not going to kill you. <laughs> she didn't have I don't think you know how fucking illness works, Tyler Perry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was like, well, if you synergize the Excel with the cancer. You know? <laughs> like she died. Like, oh, did, I'm like, did she kill herself? I, I mean, it wasn't even, they didn't even give you a like six months later. Or right. It was like, later. oh, I own a stock. In the company. I'm a millionaire. And she died. <laughs> <laughs> hard, hard cut. What? It wasn't even a hard cut because... As far as I know, it was the next day. Right. She's sleeping. She wakes up and she's like, oh, what's her name? I don't even remember what her name is. Like when Alice died, it was a terrible thing. I'm like. No, when Charlotte is. Charlotte. Like is when Charlotte it. died, that was a terrible thing. I'm like, what? The, when the fuck did that happen? Again. I didn't know did Alzheimer's Hulu just skip? straight kill you. Like, did Hulu skip again? <laughs> like, <laughs> did she have Alzheimer's and cancer? I don't know, man. All right. That, that, that when they said she died, how, I was like. I think. 
pass. So I'm looking all at this. All the time. <laughs> I'm looking at this, and there's a scene of Kathy Bates looking into her mirror with all her momentum, memento like <laughs> right. post its. And she opens the medicine the cabinet. Runs. She opens the medicine cabinet and she takes out a bunch of pills. The only thing I can think, and I'm making this leap of logic here because this is not like the only thing I can think is that she took all those pills and mm. then the next day she died and then the next day uh, they had the funeral and then the next day I turned the shit off and and the <laughs> so next day she, we had to come she, in here. You're saying because she couldn't remember things, she took too many of the pills and died. She yeah, was- that's, I mean, that's the only way I can think of it, that, that this makes sense to me. Yeah, one of the things that I didn't like about that sort of memento scene is that her notes were not detailed. Her notes were like, take your pills. But I'm like, how do you know you took them already? Like, how do you know you didn't take them already? How do you know how many to take? Yeah. It doesn't, how do you know? Like, <laughs> oh, well, it says it on the bottle. How do you know you already didn't take those? You need, look, you're a multimillionaire. You need a nurse. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you relying on this shit on your own? That's crazy. I mean, you've already got your magical Negro friend. Why don't you just... Let her stay with you. Yeah. Will you help me to remember when I forget? Sure, you won't remember this conversation. (laughs) (laughs) Who kisses shit? It's not a Nicholas Sparks movie. (laughs) Get out of here. And then I came and I told her the story of our lives until the day I died. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, dude, she won't remember that you didn't come on Thursday. Just stay home. Go live your life, dog. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You got to reintroduce yourself, tell all that extra shit, then get to the like, and then we got chocolate ice cream yesterday. And she's like, I'd just record a message. I'm like, play. Hit play. You know what that is, right? She'd be like, I I'm don't sorry. know what play is. You know, like, oh. this memory card is full. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That shit was funny. And then when you found out what happened, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sad for laughing at that. But it's still funny. <laughs> We're assholes. Oh, we are. We are. We are. <laughs> we are. Um, yeah, so then, you know, we find out Charlotte died. There's a funeral. You see Cole House's face at this funeral. He's just like, son of a bitch. If I could have just waited it out. <laughs> just waited it out a little bit longer. Like, can I kill some niggers at his house? <laughs> Yo, Cole. Jews will not replace us. <laughs> 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 he looks like a fucking Nazi, yo. He His does. name is Cole Hauser. <laughs> right. 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 He's the most German. It's not very difficult to see. And I like Cole Hauser as an actor. I yeah, think, he's, he's, I think he's a good actor, man. Yeah. Like, but yeah. This is my son, Doberman Pinscher. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is um, my half nigga kid. <laughs> we can use him as a spy. <laughs> Infiltrate that population. <laughs> and have sex with all their women. Um. God damn it. <laughs> um, so that ends. Uh, Charlotte dies. There's a funeral. Cole Hauser is uh, very upset. Um, then we see this sort of like flash forward, like these things that are happening. Ben and Chris, they do start their construction company. Yeah. You want to Chris, the name Chris of Construction. It? Chris, Chris and Ben, ben Construction. Clever. No construction company ever in the history of construction is named one guy's name and another guy's name. It's not a fucking ice cream parlor, guys. Yeah, it, well, at least not their first name. You could be like, you know. Yeah, so, Whiting and Turner. Yeah. Yeah, you could yeah. do that. But like, Chris and Ben. Chris I, and Ben. I'd, I'd be like, they sound like a couple of kids. I'm not hiring them. Yeah, they sound like they're going to, well, uh, how much are you going to charge for the Tonka truck, there, kid? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, no, like, I, absolutely not. I'm not hiring that company to build anything. Um... And so you find that out. You also see Chris going um, to see Andrea and see um, see uh, Cole Hauser's kid and give her money, I guess, payments back for the money he took. Uh, one, you lied to me and told me that fuckhead baby was mine. <laughs> He's not. I spent my hard-earned construction money on that kid. Take that as a loss. I'm not yeah. giving you any more money. Take that as $286,000 so I don't sue your ass into oblivion, okay? <laughs> so I'm not giving you any money back. So that's a wrap. Two, he, he was like, he went over to that kid and he was like, hey. <laughs> He's like, He's like, ah, I'd be like, I gotta go. <laughs> no, nah, I would still take care of that kid as my son. Like, mm-hmm. they, they can't, you've known the kid. <laughs> 
You are lying. You are stop, stop lying. You, your sucker ass would be like, I mean, we're both brown skin. It'll work. It'll work. Put this paint on. It'll be real. It'll be. It'll be weird. Oh, it would be weird, but you couldn't turn your back on that kid. It's not that kid's fault. No, I couldn't turn my back on that kid. That curly head son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look, but I gotta tell you. No, I wouldn't necessarily take care of that kid. Let, let, it's not like the father died. Oh no, no, no! Like I'm just saying, you stay, in, you stay in that kid's life. I check up on him, but he ain't coming over. I'm not, I'm not paying out. We can hang out. We can go Dutch on a movie. Um, you letting him call you dad? No. <laughs> Even though he called you dad for four years? Yeah. <laughs> you lying? It ain't the same. No, it ain't the same, man. It's not the same. It's different. It's different. Pops. Homie. You can call me homie. What up, homie? <laughs> homie. <yeah. laughs> what up, homie? What up, homie? What up, Nothing fam? Blah. Right, fam. That's it. <laughs> Cuzzo. You can call me Cuzzo. What up, Cuzzo? Yo, that, yo, that ain't, yo, that ain't my dad no more. That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> that a, it's a real shame. Yeah, nah, yo. Nah. It's not like like uh, uh, the dude is dead. Like, I'd have killed him. I don't remember when when he when oh uh, I forgot about that when he confronted uh, Cole Hauser oh, punched the, him uh, yo the, uh, I high rise. I could have sworn he was gonna throw him off that thing man <laughs> no because that would put him in jail yeah I mean <laughs> I don't think I don't think I don't think I would have had the restraint to just hit him once I think I'd have tried to kill him I'd have I'd have tried to push him off of it yeah I'd have tried to kill him dude I would have I'd be like. All y'all heavy duty construction dudes, y'all better grab me, yo, because I'm gonna kill your boss right here. Yeah. And I thought he slept with my wife. He had to go. It was a wrap. But then I think about all the episodes of Oz I've seen, and I'd be like, let him live, let him live. Like, <laughs> he alright down there? All of my legs, my legs and my arms are broken. You alive though? Yeah? Alright, we good. I gotta go. You take care of that kid? Me? Both of y'all. You letting that kid stay at your house? I don't you, do ready made. You, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> you thought that was your kid. Now all of a sudden it's a ready it made ain't. kid. Ready made. You, you ain't gonna. You ain't gonna yeah, stand up for him. It's ready made. <laughs> like, uh, look, some people can do it. I'm not. Nah. I'm not I'm about right, that life. I'm right there with you. Nah, man. I'm not about that life. I yeah. take care of the kid. If you would. <laughs> I mean, I, I like. I can't imagine. Like, if take it care was... of like, like, let him live with you, and then let him see his mother on weekends. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the. <laughs> Give me the stab you on air. The fuck out of here. No, no. But I would. I would definitely see the kid. Yeah, we can hang out. That's it. You want, you want to see that Captain America movie? Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. Hey, it'll be my treat this time. Nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Movies are expensive. I'd be like, Hunchy, that's your rich ass white daddy. <laughs> tell him to pay for it. <clears throat> See, tell tell your tell your white father he can invest in a construction business because he ain't got no job. <laughs> How about that? Your black your black half father got one. You your white daddy ain't got no goddamn. Your pretend job. daddy got a job, but your real daddy don't. We remember that. Yeah, and also just to 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 finish out real fast, Sonia Lathan goes into like hug Chris. Yo. They were they played that way too nice. He was like, mm, no, I would have been like, like right in her face, like absolutely oh, not. I'd have spit I, on him. <laughs> well, you've done fun. you've done that on a movie poster that you didn't like. So why would I expect yeah, anything? Get the fuck more? away from me. No. Uh, and then um, the most important thing: um, Nick buys a house uh, via Remax and shaves, and he's just like, so he's got a job now, or? Yeah, I guess so. They got the job back from uh, Nick is the Pomas dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, he started working for the company again, didn't he? They didn't say that. Yeah. Oh, he was just oh. in the board meeting. I don't know. I mean, it is Atlanta. He might have just found like a dollar on the ground. <laughs> 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 he just bought a, bought a $300,000 house. <laughs> yeah. is, is, is Nick a, a person, like a famous person or something that we should um, know? I don't know who he is. Because he, like... Is this uh, like? Is it a guy that he's that like? Curry knows he's him? like Alfred Woodard's magical Negro. Like the yeah. magical Negro has a magical Negro in this movie. His name is Sebastian Siegel. I don't know who he is. Sounds like he's got a lot of money though. Um, oh, this is my friend Sebastian Siegel. Oh, thank you. That would be Robin Givens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy. 
yeah, he's he's an actor. Oh, he's yeah. English. Is he? Hmm, interesting. I bet he's been in almost nothing. Um, all right. Oh, he was on Hawaii Five-0 and lost. <laughs> Uh, All right, that's it for us. We will see you guys next time. Uh, Make sure that you are sharing out the shows on YouTube um, and off of the regular podcast as well. Also, make sure you get five-star reviews in on iTunes. That always helps us get the word out about the show. You can follow us on Twitter at Black on Cinema. Um, The other thing is sign up for premium content. Um, TMP Studios is a thing. Obviously, all this sort of nerd stuff is uh, from our other shows. But um, if you sign up, you go to blackonblackcinema.com slash premium. You can sign up for $5 a month or $50 for the full year. And we have a number of other additional shows like our James Bond show, our Seinfeld show, our action movie podcast, which is the same format as this show. But we talk about uh, great action movies of the past. We have two coming up this month. Both of them are off the wall bonkers and there's over 250 hours of premium content right now you also get full episodes of our political show that i host uh, along with someone else uh, named andy um that's weekly uh called look <laughs> forward and you can listen to the free version of that show right now you go into itunes or what have you and look for look forward um all right guys we will see you next week for another preview episode and preview episodes from now on are also on video they're also on our youtube channel youtube.com slash black on black cinema all right. Later, guys. See you. Take it easy. We out. We out. We out. We out.